All right, we're here at the Edelbrock Performance Center, and today we're going to be installing an Edelbrock VRS 4150 carburetor. And there's a couple things that we want to point out before we install the carburetor on our intake. We swapped intake manifolds out on this engine. So the carb's going to sit a little lower. With the fuel log, we're running out of space. So we're going to add a one inch spacer below that carburetor. Now we have two options when it comes to a one inch spacer. Why don't you walk us through the differences and why we select one over the other? Sure. One common spacer is an open spacer. As you can see, it's just a full open space. And that's best for single plane manifolds because you've got the four barrels of the carburetor, they're already feeding all the cylinders and you'll continue to do that. In this case though, we're riding on a dual plane manifold so the selection was a four hole spacer. That way the plenum is divided and you're following the firing order and each time a cylinder fires, it's only pulling off of two barrels of the carburetor and that helps to keep it a snappy and have good response. And that's what we want with this car. Very good, sounds good to me. Why don't we uh, grab that new carburetor and let's slide it on there. Excellent. Put that in there. And we're gonna try to use our existing uh, throttle cable should be fine. We just may have to extend the adjustment a little bit or shorten it. That's about right. Now that we've got our carb hooked up and our um, throttle cable hooked up, we're just going to make sure that we got wide open throttle with the pedal before it hits the floor. Oh, that's that's open and that's maxed out so yeah good all right so we're just about ready to fire this car up we've got uh, kind of a base timing set on the distributor because the distributor's pulled out so we got it back in we got it pretty close to where it should be we also cycled the fuel pump and we've checked for leaks we're good there we've went through the carburetor what did we do we didn't really do much of anything but just check the settings that they're all the same and well, what, baselined yeah. it right right what i did is i took the uh, mixture screws and i tightened them in counting how, how many times, times it was, was out from it was, the factory it was one and a half from the factory and i just right. brought it back out to one and a half okay. and i did that on all four and they were all right at one and a half so that's where we'll give it a start and we we already set our throttle plates right so now we had that upside down and we and we set them yeah per the transfer ports, right? And close mm -hmm. those off where they should be. So those should be pretty close. We'll probably need a little bit of adjustment with the, with the idle screws. And then we could tackle the mixture screws. We can tackle the mixture screws and we'll check the float level while it's running. And then we hit this. And then we hit the side mm -hmm. idle screws as well. If, let's see what we get if for RPM it. and okay. we'll get the RPM up first and then we'll do the mixture. Get it warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's fire this thing up. Okay, we're done. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard it. I heard it. It sounded pretty darn good. Well, we've got our carb running pretty nice. It's idling really good. It sounds nice. The engine has a nice little lope. We brought the uh, RPMs down to about what did we bring it 950, down to? 950. Then I was at well, I was at 950, and then I right. set a little too high, so it's like okay. 875. So you kept it down. Was yeah. the conclusion? Yeah. Sounds perfect crisp throttle response. Yeah. We'll take it out for a test drive. That'll right. be kind of the, yes. that'll be the telltale sign of if we've really got it dialed in pretty good. But so far it sounds really good and uh, I'm really impressed with it. What are some of the adjustments you made once we had the car running? Was there, I know there wasn't much to do, but you just kind of fine tuned a few things. Correct. I just went after the auxiliary uh, idle air screws and that's where okay. I was setting the idle speed from. And that's, those are the two up top and the, the two middle. up top okay. quarter drive. And uh, it, it was fine because it was responsive. Uh, it, seems crisp like you said so i yeah. think it's ready to go yeah. further yeah if you guys missed part one and two the deep dive of these carburetors check them out we'll put the links on the screen right now and to purchase your own vrs 4150 carburetor in 650 750 850 or 950 cfm go to edelbrock.com and for more content like this check out in the garage media.com <laughs>